nice to have all of you here this evening um, for the opening of this special exhibition, the fresh, um, the fresh show. Before we go any further, though, I think we have some introductions because not everybody knows that we now have um, we, we have our executive director, Camelia Fisher, and I'd like you to meet Camelia. and nine muses in Barberton, along with some of our space here in Akron. And she comes to us with a whole, whole host of accomplishments that she's just going to put right to use for us. And then we have um, an exhibitions manager that might be new to some of you, Jean Grossetti, and she's the exhibition manager for some of our space, ACOT and nine muses. And we're so happy to have you, Jean. Thank you so much. So, Well, tonight's show is so exciting. It's really, really fresh. I was thinking about the word fresh. It means so many different things. It's a beautiful word. And for some reason, fresh resonates with me, which is so totally unrelated, but with the same word as forgiveness. I love the word forgiveness, and I love the word fresh. And tonight's show, is extremely fresh. It is one of the most compelling shows that I have seen here at Summit Art Space in a long time, and that is not negating anything we've done before. This is just a really special show. Um, I had the privilege of speaking with our with our um, with our adjudicator Charles Finicky before the opening, and it was so interesting. He illuminated the process that he went through to choose the winners. It wasn't just looking at something online and saying, oh, I like that, I like that, I don't like this, I don't like that. He looked at everything and he had his thoughts, but then he had to see everything in person. So then he came down here and he saw all of the actual pieces of art. And then he put it aside and he went home, probably had a glass of wine or two, <laughs> came back the next day and looked at it again and thought about it. And then he thought, okay, there's still one more step here. I have to see how this show is going to be hung, how it's going to be displayed, and how it's going to work together. And so he and Jean, the two of you, actually worked together to decide how this show was going to be orchestrated, hung, and everything. And after all of that was done, he went home one more time and he came back, and then he made his decisions. And I think his decisions were so thoughtful and, and, and so intuitive and everything. And he has written a beautiful juror's statement. And we have copies right here, and we have copies back there. And I encourage all of you to take a copy of that because it sort of shows you what our adjudicator was thinking as he pulled this show together and thought about it and and wanted to have the very best of Northeast Ohio represented in a show that we've had for many, many years. We've had Fresh. Maybe this is the fifth Fresh show, but this was Fresh for Charles and he put his all into it. for fresh you might think that fresh is something that has to be totally brand new and never seen before or something like that but what if it's an art form that your grandmother used to do your great grandmother used to do what if it was a textile what if it showed the beautiful work that our hands can do and that we have brought a freshness to that. And that is what our third prize represents. It's called Bandage. And it's done by Jasmine Carnell. Is Jasmine here this evening? Jasmine, your piece right there is so exquisite. It's 
it's like a waterfall. It, it, it just embraces so many things. And it's so fresh. And, and we just thank you so much for that. Thank you. I mean, <laughs> well, um, something that is maybe a little bit more current. I don't know exactly what to say about it, but it's, it's double presence. And it's right over there. It's this beautiful work of two reflections, two separate pieces, but they come together. And, and it's just an, an exquisite piece. And Charles felt that it really represented our country and where we are today with there being two ways to look at everything and then you come together in unity. So is Emily Duke here this evening? Well, I guess she isn't, but we'll make sure that she knows that she won the second award. Once again, we go back to Charles's juror's statement about the world that we live in. And the world that we live in today is not the world that we lived in yesterday, a year ago, or so forth. Things are happening constantly. The world is a changing, broiling, roiling landscape of tragedy, of hope, of so many things. But it's also something that we see every single day on the news, how people are torn from their homes and they don't have a place to live and they seek refuge somewhere else. And here in Akron, we're seeing that also. And how wonderful it is that we have the artist Priscilla Rogenkamp Priscilla did this beautiful work here, and while it's beautiful, it also is heart-wrenching and everything else, and yet you have given us so much hope and the freshness of what lives can do when they're given a chance. So thank you so much. We have one last prize, and this is called the Fresh Prize. And I had to talk to Charles about this a little bit because I'm always the first one to say I'm not an artist but I do love art. And evidently, this young woman has worked in one field of art, metalwork perhaps, sculpture, and then she saw that there were beautiful patinas that resulted from this artwork. And she decided to take that artwork one step further. And that's what being fresh is, is always looking to see what you can discover and to make it even more embracing difference somehow. So Erica Bishop did Pond and River Fresh based on other work that she had done. And is Erica here this evening? I hope. Mm. Golly, I wanted to give her a hug. Well, anyway, Erica, her work is back there. It's the two, um, orange pieces 
back there. One on the left and one on the right. Right, exactly. Beautiful. 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 So Erica gets the fresh award this I evening, and we applaud Erica for everything.